Hi there everyone, this is Brian with Measure Square here today. Today we're going to do a brief overview of the different settings you could find inside of our CRM to help you customize it and make it work best for your team. To get started, we'll hop over to our settings page, and that can be found in the top right corner in this gear icon, or by clicking on your name and then going to settings. For the purposes of this video, we'll do a brief overview of all the different sections and what you might use them for without diving too much into the actual functionality and, and tutorials of how we, we use them. To get started, we'll use our Users and Teams page, and this is where you could see all the different members of your company. You could set their role, uh, you can invite new members, and you can also set up teams. So, for instance, if you wanted to group all of your salespeople together into a sales team or separate people into branches, that's where you'd handle it. Next, we'll move to Roles and Permissions. This is where you get to customize those roles and permissions that we provide, as well as create new roles. And these allow you to fine tune the access levels and different functions that each user is allowed to, to complete. That way we reduce the risk of misuse or human errors inside of your company. Next we have organization profiles. This is a great place to set your company logo, contact information, and your main corporate address. Uh, and these business data will be used in various order forms uh, that will we'll address in later parts of this video. Next we have locations. Similar to the organization location except we let you put on data for multiple warehouses and different offices that'll all trickle into your later documents so that way you don't have to type in the same addresses over and over. Next we have custom fields. Uh, this is where you can add custom data fields uh, to meet certain solution needs. Uh, for instance we have you know source interested products and type Perhaps you have a custom ID number that you want to add to a different field. Uh, that'll help you hone in our website to make it work best for your uh, flows. Next, we have pipelines and stages. This is where you'll define and edit different pipelines. Uh, you can customize the different stages, the order that the stages are in, and the various percent completes that the stages are in. And here you can see that we divided them by industry, so retail, commercial pipeline, uh, some people might separate them by individual salespeople or even by, by region. We'll move on to our integrations tab. And this is where you can connect your CRM account to financial accounting software such as QuickBooks or Zero Accounting. Uh, and this will help streamline the quote process so that we, we can seek those between systems. Next we have the tax tab where you can predefine various tax rates according to area codes, names of cities, and things like that. So it can be readily used in your order forms. And now we have terms and conditions, where similar to taxes, you could predefine different terms and conditions. Uh, and those will plug into all the different orders so you can see up top. So for here, we have two different terms and conditions created for the quote. And instead of having to type the differences, I can just select which one I need. And lastly, we have our modules tab. So this will show all the different tabs within our overall website. On the left-hand side, you could see our navigation bar. And on the right-hand side, you could see the settings for that navigation bar. And here you could change the name of these terms, so maybe I use the term projects instead of deals. Uh, that'll change system-wide. Uh, and likewise, I can hide certain pages, that way it's more sleek. Say I don't use certain parts of this website, I can make it so they're omitted. Uh, and these are all the different sections of our, our settings. In future videos, uh, we'll be diving into all the different ways you can use these settings and doing a more technical dive. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks.